Yeah, good evening. Friday night. It's horrible outside, hence the reason why it's only half past four. It's extremely dark. It's blowing the hooli, for the want of a better phrase. And it's persistently raining. And the rain's coming like that. It's horrible outside. So, in from work, I've got a three days growth. Uh, so I'm going to knock this lot off in time for the weekend. So tonight I'm going to use a cream using the traditional shaving company from Leeds, their Limes cream. 100 gram, 100 ml tub. It's quite a, quite a soft cream as you can see. Very, very, very soft. And we'll face like this tonight. Limes, grapefruit, mandarin. And it draws down to a little bit of musk and a bit of one or two herbs in there as well. That's the packaging it comes in. It's not a bad, not a bad soap for the price. That's the ingredients there, should you wish to view them. Just hit pause. So that's the soap. The brush for tonight, which is presently soaking, is the Murdoch Finest Badger. Yeah, it's available under many different names, this brush. Uh, so it's a fairly generic made brush with finest badger knot, I think it's 22mm 22 mil knot, so it's not the biggest in the world but it is very very soft. The blade for tonight, Persona Med Prep on shave number 3, I haven't put the little dot on yet, but it will be. So I'm going to take that out of the packaging. And the razor for tonight, I'm going to carry on with the open comb theme for October. Tonight is the fat tip piccolo. So, short handle open comb razor from Italy. Uh, the razor weighs 74 grams, two and a half ounces, two and three quarter ounces, something like that. Three piece razor, so base plate, top cap, a handle. Uh, the fat tip grande is the same head, but it has a different handle. That handle is slightly longer and longer and hollow, whereas this is solid brass and plated, which gives the handle a fair bit of weight. This is the version one of the head, which did have a few quality issues regarding blade alignment. This one's okay. You can see yourself. There's a fair bit of blade out over the head. It's uh, quite efficient as a razor. So we've had a face wash. I'll just I'm going to take not much, about an almond, big almond at that. I'm going to apply that to the face. Take the brush, just take the excess water out of it. This the scent on this soap is really nice. It's really nice and zingy. It's, uh, it's not a bad price either. It's a good size of travel, 100 grams, so you can actually take it in hand luggage if you were flying somewhere. And uh, it's under the airport airport uh, aircraft size for use. You can see yourself a very soft brush. I'm going to need some water. So. I did start try the video with the lights off, but uh, just too dark. Let's see, it's only. 4.30 yeah there you go 25 to 5 in the afternoon and it's already dark
when you first use this cream, the pineapple, not the pineapple, sorry, the, uh, the grapefruit is the opening scent. The limes come through afterwards. Right. Imagine a nice sharp pink grapefruit. That's the opening scent on the soap and it calms down to moves into limes. A little bit of basil, a little bit of musk. So, plenty left in there. Well, if I've got the tub on the windowsill, we shouldn't need any more. <laughs> Fat tip, pickle, solid brass, three piece razor, plated. Uh, quality control on the fat tips isn't the greatest. I think they might have resolved that in the last few years. On the older ones, they were around for you get a brand new razor out of the box. Look at the chroming, the chrome work on it, and there was pits and scratches. And not a very expensive razor, around 20 25 pounds, something like that. Readily available. And if you like open combs, the version 2 head doesn't have as much blade exposure as this one. Uh, they reduced it by quite a lot when, on a redesign in 2017, so last year. So if you buy one now, you'll have a different head from this. They basically reduced the blade exposure by about The amount of blade sticking out of the head cap by around about 0.4 millimeter, which isn't a lot, but it doesn't sound a great deal as a number. But to have that less blade hanging out the side, waiting to cut you, is a bit, big difference. And we've got blood. Okay, first pass done. Not great deal of slipness, but uh, we'll get out everything from the brush. But we can't leave it out of it and go again. So how's your week been? Mine hasn't been too bad. Weekend now. But I think the weather overnight and tomorrow, tomorrow's horrible. I think it's forecast like half an inch of rain tomorrow and 50 mile an hour winds. Uh, I certainly don't envisage myself venturing out very far. If that's the case, Sunday's supposed to be okay, or better anyway. So. 
It's my weekend plans. It's that bad. Uh, there's a final competition being played tomorrow at the golf club, I remember that. And they actually sent an email today saying it's cancelled because the weather forecast is so bad so they expect so few people to turn up. Uh, I know one thing, if the forecast is correct and as predicted, not that special you'll see me tomorrow if you walk on the golf course. It's, uh, the days of battling 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds and pouring rain coming sideways. It's supposed to be enjoyable. As well as a, a good walk spot, according to some or many. But if you're not enjoyable, what's the point in doing it or being there? So if that's the case, it'll probably be a day in tomorrow. Feet up, watching the telly. Got no hard or fast plans. A few little weepers there and the crevice in the middle of the chin. There's not a lot left, in all honesty. No, we've got everything covered there pretty well. We've also got most of the soap out of the brushes on. So there we go, three days growth, knocked down pretty quickly with an inexpensive razor and uh, some shaving cream. So I'm going to have a face wash with this, there's all the soap pulled out of it, a little bit is left, get cleaned up and then we'll come back for the post shave. So I shall see you in a minute. And we're back. Instead of rinse off with some cold water. So a post shave tonight. This is basically that, which is around about three pounds bottle in most pharmacy in the pharmacy. And I've mixed that with some uh, aloe vera aloe vera from super super drug. Around about 70, 30, 80, 20 sort of mix. If you want to, you can also add a little bit of essential oil, which you can get from your pharmacies or somewhere, I mean, lavender or something, basically make your own fears. So, that's got tea tree in it. I can taste it. About 10 drops in that, in the spray bottle. So, that's the witch hazel sorted out. Just to give the skin a bit of protection. I 
and as we used quite an efficient stroke aggressive razor tonight the second part is British Barbers Association post shave balm which looks like baby pill in all honesty it'll come out It doesn't want to come out. Yeah, that came out. So I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. I managed to hit the wall and a few other bits and pieces. So, as I said, it looks like a baby pill. That's it there. That's one squirt. Expensive stuff, but probably the best. One of the best balms you can put on your skin. Uh, Keep an eye out on Amazon for Black Friday. That was when I got that last year. Uh, a very, very good price. I think it was half price. Uh, whether the offer is going to be on this year or not, I don't know. It looks disgusting. Doesn't really smell of anything, and it's fantastic on the skin. And it also makes a mess on the wall when it uh, decides that it wants to come out. Yeah, so I think I need a squeegee. Okay, so quick recap tonight we've used traditional shaving company limes from the shaving company, the traditional shaving company in Leeds in England. Also dropped a razor. We used Murdoch Finest, I think this is the Windsor it's called, Finest Badger. For the price of that, you can have two of these, and these are at least twice as good, if not better. That's the Macitos. That is better than that, and that's twice the price. Bit of a no-brainer really. The blade for tonight was Persona Medical Prep on the third use. The razor was the Fat Tip Pickle, three piece open comb razor to carry on the open comb October shaves I've been doing. Then we finished off with some Witch Hazel and Aloe Vera and British Barbers Association. I've got a wall that looks like a grounds of diarrhea, so I'm gonna uh, get that lot cleaned up and I'll see you in the next shave. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.